everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Max. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, update uh, Grand Theft Auto 5's uh, LSPDFR. Right, so LSPDFR, if you're unaware, is basically, it's a it's a police sim, pretty much, uh, which allows you to play as a police officer in GTA 5. You've probably heard of it if you have uh, clicked on this video now, a lot of people will download it once, and they won't update it. And then, they'll come onto the Rage Plugin Hook uh, Discord forum, and they'll ask loads of questions. <laughs> now, the problem with that is, um, if you're not on the latest version, you will not have the latest bug fixes, and thus, um, GTA will be more unstable. So, uh, I'm going to teach you guys today how to install... Um, how to install the latest update for uh, LSPDFR. Now this is an already modded version and you guys won't have everything in here. However, um, this is gonna be a basic tutorial on how to do it. Now, to get over here in the first place, you're gonna need to come to lcpdfr.com forward slash downloads, GTA 5 mods, G17 media, 7792 LSPDF, first response. I'm gonna leave that down in the description. Don't worry about it. Um, so you're going to come here and you're going to click this download button, download this file. It's probably going to be a bit further down for you. Uh, however, uh, this green button here, and you're going to read this. Now, you must read this. Now, I have already read it, thus I'm not going to read it here. But click on Agree and Download. And then you're going to uh, LSPDFR underscore 048 in this, where at the time of this video it might be a bigger number whilst you do it. Underscore manual, underscore install. You want the manual install and make sure it's the latest one. As you can see, there's 48 and 47 here. We want 48 because it's the latest one. You want the manual install just because, well, it's easier. So you're going to click download here. It's already in my downloads, as you can see here. Uh, as you can see, I was helping people with their, with their, um, <laughs> with their installations earlier. Hence, there's loads of rage plugin hook logs in here. But anyway, as you can see, you're going to have an extra folder. It's going to be called data. Uh, I think. No, rather, it's uh, you're going to have an extra folder in the LSPDFR folder. Uh, I've taken data out because I don't like it. And rather, I've got already mine. So you're going to hit Control-A. It's going to be in a zip file. You can either open it with WinRAR or Windows or whatever. And just drag it in here. Uh, as you can see, it's going to take, it's going to take quite a while. Uh... As you can see, I've already got this running. I'm copying my GTA 5 folder at the moment. Oops. I want to pause that one. So, as you can see here, I've already got a lot of it installed. Um, however, you won't necessarily. So, it's going to tell me that I've got 1,070 names of the files with the same name. You're going to want to, if it does do that, just, uh, just click on replace the files and allow it to replace. I genuinely don't know where those 1,070 files are, but whatever. So just let it, just let it do it. As you can see, I'm gonna continue this and minimize it just out of the way. There's nothing to do with this video. So now you have actually updated uh, GTA 5's LSPDFR. And whilst you've been at it, you've also updated Rage Plugin Hook. However, that may not be the latest version. So, to counteract that, you're just going to pop over to RagePluginHook.net, click on Download Now, click the Legacy version, which is Grand Theft Auto 5, and click on Download. Normally, when you download something with LSPD4, it normally does come with uh, the latest version. However, that's not to say it always will. So whilst you're at it, just drag those in there, replace, and bang, you're on the latest version of everything. So all it's left to do now is to close out of everything. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to type in rage to my command prompt, uh, my command prompt, my run box, because I've got it set up so I can do that and it will launch rage plugin hook. Click here. As you can see, the first time you start it up, actually, let, let me, let me run back for a sec. Let me, let me go into my graphic type 5 folder. To configure LSPDFR, you're going to want to come into the LSPDFR folder here and just double click this. As you can see, this configure out will guide you through. You don't need to do this, but it's probably a good idea. 
So we're going to show the license for Reg plugin hook. You have to accept this. This is this menu. Excuse me. Uh, you have to accept this. Give it a read. It basically said it's as is. Uh, there's no warranty for it. You install it on your machine at your own risk. It's not a virus. Uh, and the people who write RPH are not liable for any damages you do to your computer. So you can do it on this now. So the change, um, change settings... Just hit do it for me. And it's just going to say it's been installed successfully. So it's going to exit out of that. As you can see, uh, you can then come in here and uh, you can edit all the settings you want. At the moment, I wouldn't do nothing, but I am going to make the callouts a bit more likely. I like to have mine at about 400. So, yeah, that is about it. And I'm also going to turn this off because this is the most annoying feature in the world, in my opinion. So, I don't have it. However, yeah. So, to then uh, lo lo load the game, you're going to do rage plugin hook.exe. Double click on that. And it should launch. As you can see, it's going to run the uh, the first time initialization process. So, you just got to give it a couple of minutes. Or a couple of seconds, rather. So, once you've let it... There we go. So, let... Keep this at F4. It's just easier. This uh, is basically the number of seconds that um, a plugin can freeze before Rage Plugin Hook will kill it. Now it's ten thousand, so uh, just basically it's in milliseconds. So just do your number of seconds times a thousand. So yeah, uh, I would launch LSPDFR by default on startup, but that's up to you. Uh, advanced settings, leave these off because you don't need them. Um, and the game settings, command line switches, you can verify it, safe mode, ignore profile, etc. You can use all of these. Um, up to you, really. You can just, um, yeah, you can just, well, <laughs> you can look into that. Uh, always keep a active like backup by the way uh, so if if they do release an update you can't cock it up uh, and you can click on back up the game version just click there it takes about a gigabyte up so don't do it every day but there you go so just now click save and launch and just bear in mind that when you, if you want that settings dialog to appear again just hold shift as you start rage plugin hook or tap this cog here if you tap that there it will uh, it will not launch the game and it will instead launch rage's settings dialog so now, uh, it should just launch the game for us. I'm hoping it's going to come through my headphones, because otherwise you guys are going to get absolutely deafened by it. It does have to connect to the Rockstar Game Services, by the way. Oh, and it's got an update the launcher, of course. By the way, you could now have to reinstall requis prerequisites and stuff. Just let Social Club do what it wants. I mean, sorry, the Rockstar Launcher, it used to be called Social Club. If it does prompt for administrator permissions, just let it have them. It's a lot easier to do that than to just cock around with it yourself. That's never a good idea. Once it's done that, just let it load. It will do everything for you. You don't need to do anything. And if that comes up, hit no. But I doubt you're going to have it because Script Hook 5 does not come with LSPDFR. I've got more tutorials on that on the way. Okay, so on occasion, this does happen. Uh, the best way to counteract it sort of is um, to look at kind of what's caused the issue. Now, a lot of people I appreciate won't know how this works. So I'm just going to terminate this. Now, the best way to just um, have a look at sort of what has caused something is just by um, basically starting Rage, holding Shift... 
and we will see there we go the settings menu uh just turn off load or loading startup plugins and just make it load on its own Here we go. So as you can see, we're now loading in. It is taking a little while. I'm not 100% sure why. There we go. So as you can see, uh, that it's all loaded in now. Uh, so you got to hit F4 and just type in load plugin, LSPD first response. You can press tab to work complete, by the way. And you just got to wait for it to load up. Now, that's, this is the Rage plugin console. This is where a lot of your uh, errors and stuff will be thrown and in, like described. So you just got to kind of let it run its course. Um, however, if there is an issue, it will tell you in here and it will also be printed to a Rage plugin hook. Log file, as you can see now, um, as well as the steep decrease in FPS, uh, I can force duty. Now, something I did accidentally do just then, guys, was I accidentally paused the recording. Um, now, I didn't mean to do that. It's just because my um, my OBS uh, stop recording key is set to F8, uh, as is my menu key. Obviously, I've unbound that now, and I can now activate menu. But basically, as I was showing off uh, cars and things uh, and uniforms, uh, my my OBS stopped recording. So, um, as you can see, it does all work, um, and I hope that was all good. Now, I'm slightly annoyed because I'm... This guy's annoying me. I'm slightly annoyed now because, admittedly, because I uh, did an awesome stop just after that recording. And, oh dear. I'm on the grass now. And uh, one thing I thought I would have done was recorded it because I thought OBS was recording. But that is annoying. I was going to show that in the video. Um, but sadly, it didn't. Oh, oh my word. Sadly, it didn't go to plan. So uh, that's what I will be uh, <laughs> crying about whilst editing this video. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, and if you'd like more LSPD, I mean, I'm going to do more of them anyway. But if you would like. Oh, it's stolen. So if you would like more um, LSPD videos uh, or LSPD of heart installation and help video. Oh, my word. I wasn't looking where I was going. Well, oh, hi, I, I got him. So, uh, yeah, if you would like more videos, let me know and we can think about that. So I'll see you in the next, go in the next video, hopefully when I do not end it impromptu. Uh, impromptu when I do not end it too early. Anyway, I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Oh, he's talking to me. Oh, I punched him. I don't know why I punched them all. It's so annoying.